Hey, what's going on gamers? Welcome to the channel. So recently I was unpacking my office because I just moved houses and I came across my Vice City Stories strategy guide from 2006 and it got me thinking. I want to do a throwback Thursday episode. Today's Thursday and I thought what better way to do this than with some really iconic Grand Theft Auto Easter eggs. So believe it or not, this is probably the first time you're watching my channel and I don't want y'all to learn anything new. Matter of fact, I want y'all to feel nostalgic because all of y'all probably already know about these Easter eggs. They're very popular and they're the most common ones. So if you enjoy this video, Please give it a thumbs up. Let's go for 2,000 likes if you want to see more retro-themed, old-school GTA content like this. But before we get into the nine Easter eggs in Grand Theft Auto, we've actually got a sponsor for this video, Nine University. So what exactly is Nine University? Well, this is the go-to consulting resource for scaling your Amazon FBA businesses. Well, what's Amazon FBA? Well, that's actually a fulfillment program provided by Amazon that lets you be your own boss. Who doesn't want to do that, right? This is where you simply provide a product, and when it sells, Amazon takes care of all the dirty work as far as shipping, handling, and all that goes. But before you get to that point, you gotta have a plan. And that's exactly what Nine University provides. By enrolling in the Nine University Elite course with over 800 lessons, you'll learn the ins, the outs, and some inside secrets on how to scale your FBA businesses from some of the most educated professionals out there, in the most organized way possible as well. I never thought online school could be so fun, yet rewarding at the same time. On top of that, Nine University also provides a fast track one on one coaching alternative with trained coaches available 24 hours a day. This support center will provide real time coaching, answers to any questions you may have, and so much more. But it gets even better. You'll also gain access to their three Facebook groups upon enrolling into Nine University. And the great thing about these groups is it's your own private community of like-minded individuals. Whether you have questions or you want to share the successes that you've had with others, you can do all of this here. Now, we all know the old saying, if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. Well, in this case, that doesn't actually apply because Nine University is backed up with some of the most solid reviews that I've ever seen. Whether it be from the Better Business Bureau or Trustpilot, the proof is in the pudding. It's all right there in front of you. So this should answer your question on whether or not this is legit or a scam. And the coolest feature I personally think as a numbers guy that Nine University provides is their scoreboard that you can find on any of their pages by just searching scoreboard. Now what this will do is pull up sales figures from other students enrolled in Nine University to not only see where you stand, but let that serve as motivation to get to the point where you're making and raking in thousands like some of these other individuals. Now, if you're interested in hearing more about Nine University, you can check them out. First link at the very top of the description to their official website, or you can join up on their private Facebook groups. Number nine, you weren't supposed to be able to get here. So in Grand Theft Auto 3, there's a very unique location. And honestly, I think it's one of the only locations like this in the Grand Theft Auto series. And it's in the middle of Liberty City, but it's normally inaccessible unless you use a car on top of a flight of stairs to jump over a wall. And it's this closed off alleyway. And if you actually make your way to the very back side of this alleyway, you're going to find a secret letter on the wall letting you know that you weren't supposed to be able to get here you know and then there's a ramp that actually lets you get out of this location so obviously this was put here with the intention of players finding this but it makes you wonder how in the world do players find this stuff Number eight, in GTA Vice City, we can find a literal Easter egg. That's right. If you go to the Vice City news building, you go in, it teleports you to the top, which is pretty interesting in and of itself. But upon doing so and getting to this roof, if you go to the top of the helipad and you jump into the neighboring building, well, you will find inside on a podium a prized chocolate Easter egg letting you know happy Easter. So I've always thought this was pretty cool. And if there's an Easter egg in the whole Grand Theft Auto series, that's my favorite. It's this one due to the just simplicity of it, but also how secretly tucked away it is in the map. Number seven in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. If you haven't noticed already, we're going in chronological order based on the games. But in San Andreas, if you head over to what would be the Golden Gate Bridge, get a jetpack and fly to the very top you're going to find another secret letter. This time it's letting you know that 
there are no Easter eggs here. Go away. And ironically enough, while there's no Easter eggs up there, this in and of itself is an Easter egg letting us know that there are no Easter eggs here. Classic Rockstar. I love the old video game Easter eggs like this. They're just so simple and that's what makes them amazing and so memorable. Number six, in GTA Liberty City Stories, which takes place in the same Liberty City as GTA 3, we can find a continuation of the Grand Theft Auto 3 Easter egg. If you do the same steps to get to this same location, instead of saying you weren't supposed to be able to get here, you know, instead, you're going to see a different letter. And what's also pretty cool is that this is changed up for the different adaptations of Liberty City Stories. There's a different note on the PS2 version than there is on the PlayStation Portable version of this game. Number five in GTA Vice City Stories, once again, we can find another secret note. It seems like Rockstar enjoys these, and really, these are the most iconic Easter eggs, I feel like, in every Grand Theft Auto game. But in Vice City Stories, you can glitch into the hull of a ship, and inside of there, you will find another one of these hidden boogers, just letting you know and pointing you to the direction of another secret Easter egg hidden in the game but yeah this one's pretty cool and once again like liberty city stories there are two different adaptations of this on the psp version and the ps2 the note or the letter or just the secret message says something different number four the heart of liberty city by far probably the creepiest easter egg in all of grand theft auto we have the beating heart inside of the statue of happiness in gta 4 and as we all know the statue of happiness is actually based on hillary clinton so that in and of itself is an easter egg but inside of here you can actually find well on the outside a placard that says no hidden content this way which means yep there is some hidden content this way and inside we can actually find the literal beating heart with working sounds and everything and it is just so amazing and cool yet also very creepy fitting that dark vibe of Grand Theft Auto 4. Number three, Grand Theft Auto 5. So GTA 5 has tons of Easter eggs and really with this game, I couldn't pinpoint like an iconic Easter egg. Maybe the UFO above Mount Chiliad, but more than anything, I kept going to the underwater UFO because for me, this defines like classic Easter eggs in video games. What is better than a somewhat realistic game that's kind of based on realistic things but if you get into a submarine or you go swimming in the ocean, you find a submerged UFO. To me, that is not only creepy, but also just super cool. Because back in the old days of gaming, UFO or flying saucer, I should say, Easter eggs were very, very common. So this to me was an ode to just all the old school video game Easter eggs, which I'm a huge fan of. And for the last two, these are two really cool Easter eggs in GTA that are pretty iconic, but I was trying to first pick one Easter egg from each game, and then I kind of wanted to finish it up here with something else. So, number two is Apartment 3C from Vice City, based off of a scene from the movie Scarface, which it seems like all of Vice City is. We can find a secret apartment location. It was actually supposed to be a beta safe house, but instead, it's just a secret area based on, like I said, this scene from the movie Scarface. Inside, you find, well, a pretty interesting scene in the bathroom, which we know what happens if you've seen the movie, but yeah, super cool secret location and for number one we have the desert bodies of grand theft auto san andreas this one's cool because it's a reference to the real life mafia and how back in the day mobsters would and they probably still do just dump bodies off in the middle of the desert in a mass grave and that's what we can find six body bags and a hole in the middle of the desert with a truck backed up to it just a very creepy scene to come across especially in the deserts of san andreas because things in that game can get pretty creepy pretty fast. But anyways, those are some of the most iconic Easter eggs in Grand Theft Auto. And like I said, it's Thursday. I figured let's do a Throwback Thursday episode, feeling a bit nostalgic, and let's take a look at Grand Theft Auto. So if y'all enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, well, subscribe because I post it pretty much every single day. And also, please give the video a thumbs up if you feel it's worthy of that.